Lots of people always ask me exactly how expensive is London, particularly when you come in at those special times of the year. And I have to say, you know, I like to share these things with you, as you know, I think London's got incredibly expensive. A colleague of mine recently was looking at hotel rooms and I couldn't believe, I didn't know how much they were, you know, obviously living here. And when he told me, I thought, really, it costs that much to stay? And these are basic budget hotels. So you can imagine, you know, when people do splash out to come here to our wonderful country, you have to think, well, is there a welcome? Is there a bit of a welcoming mat? Well, seemingly not, particularly if you're coming over here for New Year. And in you know, fact, various parts of the United Kingdom, Edinburgh is always a wonderful spot. And I know they do a wonderful celebration over in the Norfolk coast as well. Yes, you see. I get around and see everything. What's interesting with this particular story though is this. As you know, we have spectacular fireworks over here in London at this time of year. The New Year's Eve celebrations, Big Ben sounded, of course, all those wonderful but rather expensive fireworks are let off in that worldwide celebration. And all the big places around the world then put out their screens at different times showing their celebrations. It's a wonderful thing. And I don't know about you, I'm always amazed at how quick it comes around. But now you really do need to dig deep because they've decided to put up the price for you to attend this in London by 33%. That's right, the Mayor of London has decided that now it's going to be £20 a ticket, not 15 as it was last year. He's blaming, of course, the cost of living crisis. Many people are blaming the fact that he has so much security, uh, social media activity and spending a lot of money via City Hall. But we'll park that there. What is interesting also is the fact that if you are coming over here for New Year, do check and maybe even book your hotels incredibly early. This is because they are also planning to put up their rates. And when you think about it, it's hard enough. There is some good news on the horizon, though, if you want to get a flavour of Royals. And I do, you know, a lot of people have been against this particular new scheme. But I wanted to share it with you because I actually think it's not a bad idea. You see, historic Royal Palaces, that is, of course, places like Hampton Court and all those wonderful other places that you can go around and see our wonderful rich royal history. Well they've put together a brand new scheme for people who are on credit, universal credit, which is like what we remember as being the unemployment benefit. Now a lot of people are backlashing saying why is it just for them? It's literally a pound entrance to go in. Two things that I support this for, it's very difficult if you are unemployed through no fault of your own, you've suddenly lost your job. You get ostracized, you've got no friends around you and you should try and get out and meet people. It's so important. But not only that, you can also have that wonderful opportunity of being able, dare I say, to go and even be a volunteer if you like, you know, get involved, it gets you back in the game, in the track. And as I say, if you look at Historical Royal Palace's website, there's some wonderful places to visit. So, you know, it's very difficult, even if you're, for instance, you're unemployed through illness, through something that's happened at work that you can't get out on. I think this is a terrific scheme that they've put together, particularly in these darker winter months. But as for celebrating that spectacular fire event, firework event on New Year's Eve in London, do make sure you check your prices, book early, and more importantly, look out for the discounts that are surely going to be coming because a lot of people will simply not be able to afford their mayor's new sky-high cost of living price to watch those wonderful fireworks. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.